Hey guys, thank you for joining me. False alarm. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on uh, keeping the bike in first gear when you're at a stoplight? So, um, I was trained from one person to always keep your keep yourself in first gear um, with your right foot down, left foot up, and uh, always ready to kind of pull out of the way if somebody behind you decides to do something stupid or somebody in front of you is coming into your lane. Um, so I was doing that for a while and then I got kind of over holding in the clutch and I also was concerned about burning up the clutch. I'm not sure if that burns it up or not. What do you guys do? Let me know in the comments. You guys sit in neutral or uh, keep it in first gear. So you guys that uh, are like me are on dual sports and like to ride uh, on the road out to your trails, you uh, probably have seen some close encounters, uh, close calls. Um, I haven't seen anything too gnarly yet. I've been really blessed and uh, pray that nothing uh, happens to me when I'm out on the road and try to ride on the street is uh, try to limit my time on the street of course and that's the whole reason I got a dual sport. It's sort of a negotiation with my wife and um, you know dual sport seemed to be a safer option because I'd be spending less time on the road and not riding on the freeways and I totally agree I think it's it's great to minimize risk um, I've ridden street bikes with my dad and um, they're just they're just dangerous I mean the speed that's involved and the um, you know the amount of seconds that go by from from going quite slow to extremely fast on a uh, powerful street bike is just a whole nother level of danger. Um, and uh, yeah, people just don't see us. Um, try to be as uh, careful as I can and even when lane splitting like this, I don't know if this is technically lane splitting or what it's called, but it's legal in California, whatever it is. Um, do it at low speed and keep my uh, wits about me, watching people's tires and watching their faces, seeing what they're doing, um, if I can see that, and um, yeah, try to minimize risk. I did a uh, motorcycle training program before I got my license, and super helpful. They teach you a bunch of techniques and uh, how to avoid an accident and, um, you know, uh, do evasive maneuvers uh, when necessary, and um, I don't know. It's a uh, it's a risky it's a risky sport. It's a risky hobby, but uh, we try and minimize that as much as we can. Just thought I'd show you guys the area you know that I ride out to and what it looks like. It's beautiful, and uh, I love where I live. It's a really simple place and. Um, Pretty rural, you know, most of California is, uh, despite what people think. Um, 
and lots of cattle ranches and um, wineries, vineyards, things like that, um, crops, and um, yeah, it's really nice. Not a whole lot of riding areas in my area, which I've talked about in my videos, is uh, my biggest complaint about where I live. It's, it's unfortunate we don't have a lot of riding, but um, you know, maybe one day that will change, maybe I'll move, I don't know hard you know once you establish uh, yourself in an area it's, it's really hard to make that decision to go elsewhere but uh, I love this little road um, <clears throat> it's a lot of fun and I've showed you this in other videos but like I said I don't have a lot of air riding areas so um, if you guys get bored of uh, the trails I'm riding just uh, put some comments in the below uh, put some comments uh, and heckle me, you know, and maybe that'll, uh, give me that extra push to, um, trailer the bike to different areas and show you guys some new riding areas that are outside my immediate, uh, vicinity, but, um, yeah, I just love riding up here, it's really quick, you know, I can do like a, today I'm just doing like a 45 minute ride and, um, it's a lot of fun, I can leave from my house and there's nothing better than being on a dual sport. It's uh, one of the best things about it. You just leave and go up, get into nature. It's um, like Dork in the Road says, it's hiking but faster. <laughs> Which is the first thing I noticed when I started riding a dual sport was uh, it's like you get that same thrill, you get that same feeling of being in nature, but uh, it's just so much faster. <laughs> you don't have to wait around and, uh, you know, hiking or walking and it just takes so long uh, I think I got stung by a bee here and I felt the stinging and uh, it's weird didn't end up seeing the bee or anything uh, try and get it out of my shirt here but uh, yeah, I didn't didn't seem to locate it but uh, anyway um, thank you guys for joining me and um, Felt like I got stung by a bee, but I don't see it. There's a red mark there. Must right, have dropped well, out uh, already. See you guys next time. Really appreciate you guys watching.